Welcome to On Our Shelf. Let's see what Bartholomew has for us today. There you go. What you got, Bartholomew? All right, we have the Mese 11 Deco. Let's check these out. Okay, so we have the 11 Deco earphones from Meze. Here is the white box that they come in. Let me get my knife and let's get these things out of the box. So we'll go ahead and place a cut here and one on the opposite side. Now we can go ahead and open up this piece right here. And the first thing we're gonna pull out is the white carrying pouch. Everything else is inside of this pouch. So the first thing we have is two extra pair of ear tips. So that gives you three pairs total. So out of the three, one of these pairs should fit in your ear pretty snug. Next up, we have a carabiner to attach to the carrying pouch. Now the last thing in the pouch and the most important thing, of course, is the actual earphones themselves, the 11 decos, and here they are. So starting with the description, we have an angled 3.5 millimeter gold plated audio jack, a mic with audio controls to play and pause your music. It can also skip tracks. The only downfall about this mic is that you cannot control the volume. Now we move on down to the actual earphones themselves and the design is uniquely awesome, especially for earphones costing under $100. Based off looks alone, these could easily pass for a $200 headset and upwards of that. The design is pretty unique because they feature a handcrafted beech wood enclosure and the wood is capped off by aluminum. Now since it is handcrafted wood, that means that no two pair are alike. There's not many things that you can own overall that you can say that about. And I think the overall design is not too flashy but very classy. <laughs> that rhymes. As far as specs go, you have 8mm neodymium drivers, frequency response of 17Hz to 25kHz, impedance 14 ohms, and input power is 3 milliwatts. So how does that translate to sound quality? Well, I found these to be pretty good, pretty universal to a wide range of music genres. They have good highs and good lows, and the sound quality delivery was pretty crisp and clean. The bass does pack a punch, however, it's not the cleanest bass I've ever heard. And at times, it could have a more prominent presence than you would like. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they have too much bass. I'm simply saying that the bass could be a little bit more cleaner. But for being under $100, these earphones sound really good and are definitely worth it. As far as sound leakage go, these earphones are really good at not leaking sound. You really only start to get your first leakage of sound at right around 75%, which is kind of standard. Other than that, they uh, create a really good seal. Right under at uh, 50%. Now they're at 75%. Now as far as comfort goes, these earphones are pretty comfortable. The silicone tips are nice and soft and out of the three pairs of tips that you get, one of them should fit pretty snug in your ears. And doing everyday things that require little to no movement at all, like riding on a train or just sitting down editing a video, these earphones don't give you much of a problem at all as far as staying put. It's only when I found myself doing pretty heavy exercises that I had to adjust these things to stay put in my ear about every three minutes, which is kind of annoying, but everybody's ears are different, so for some people they may work better than others. So in conclusion, there's one word to come to mind with these earphones, and that is bargain. I mean, is it the best pair of earphones under $100? I really couldn't answer that question because I haven't heard every pair of earphones under $100. But I can not say that they're the best pair of earphones that I have ever heard under $100. And they may very well be the best looking earphones as well. So that has been my review of the Meze 11 Deco earphones. Take care. I'll see you guys in our next video. And thanks for watching.